welcome back to Math and Me with me Nikila Shankar. So today we are going to learn 3D geometry. This is the easiest chapter in your 11th standard. Okay, so we are going to learn it the easier way. So until date, you have learned 2D geometry. Correct? 2D geometry, you will only have the x, y plane. So this is your x axis and this is your y axis. So 3D geometry, in addition, you are going to have the z axis. So first 2D, x comma y pato. we saw the distance formula in straight lines which is when you have two points x1 y1 x2 y2 the distance formula is x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square but now we are going to deal with three points x y and z so this will be the second part but i'm just reminding you so first we have learned with two points correct you will only have x and y coordinate now you are having a different plane different axis which is going to be the z axis okay so you have a few things which you need to remember so before that i have made a very sasta model so so this is the sasta model that i have made i hope you can see it okay sasta model or cost effective model tamil la sollona vela kammiyana model veetliye pannadhu i am sorry if it is very dirty and not very neat okay so basically this is your 3d structure of a 3d plane okay so in that pillar the paper is my z axis this is my x axis and this is my y axis okay so this is my x y and z so either one the positive z is the negative z okay so basically in 2d you would have learned there are four quadrants correct ah first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant quadrant na na quad means four so here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 i have eight which means i no more call it quadrant i'll call it octant okay octant na na eight so i'm going to call it octant so i have eight octants when i have three axes correct ah so enna nalla irukke I have my first. It is going to be in the same order. One, two, three, four. Anti-clockwise la poda. So ingi abrda arko bode. So I'll have first, second, third, and the fourth octant. And on the other side, I'll have fifth, sixth, seventh, and the eighth octant. Okay. So first octant la. What do I have? This is my positive z. Okay. I've written z here. So this is my positive z. So positive z de positive x. This side it is positive x. And this is positive y. Okay, I've marked everything. So positive x, positive y, positive z. So first octant la all my values will be positive. So first octant I'll have x, y, z. I'll write it here. First octant everything is positive. Okay. Second octant only x is negative. So x is negative are there. Y is positive and z is also positive. So second octant la everything is. Only x is negative, y is positive, and z is positive. Okay. So similarly, I have my third octant, fourth octant, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay. So first four octants, my z value is always positive because I have the positive z here. When I rotate it, this is my negative z. For the other four octants, I'll have the value of z to be negative. Okay. I hope this 3D diagram helps you visualize or even see. Okay. It is right in front of you. So, इधर बात आले उंगल के इन द साइंस अलाव प्रॉब्लम मरक पुड़ा दे, ओके? बट एग्जाम ले इधर ओका इमेजिन मनीटर को मुड़िया दे, बिकॉज़ यू विल नॉट हैव अ थ्री डी फिगर, सो आई डेफिनेटली टेल यू हाउ टू इजीली रिमेम्बर द टेबल दैट इज गिवन इन द टेक्स्ट बुक, बट बिफोर दैट येंगे इन इधर लाव वंदे द and i rotate it on the other side i'll have 5 6 7 and 8 octants okay this is my negative z kida potala so this is my negative z and this is my positive z okay i hope it's clear so let me draw the table for you so how will the table be i have x y and z first second third fourth Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth octant. Okay, so I have eight octants. Okay, how do I remember? X one the plus minus minus plus. Again, that gets repeated here. Plus 
minus minus plus. Why kept it go? Plus plus minus minus. Again repeat the same thing. Plus plus minus minus. What is that? The first four quadrants it will be positive. For the next four quadrants it will be negative. So plus 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 minus 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 minus. So example in the tabular column I will write. Okay this will be very helpful for you to solve questions related to this tabular column. Don't. You don't have to remember this entire 3D structure. Okay. If you can remember it is very good. But it is difficult to imagine the 3D structure in your exam. Patha terinjuro. But periyama imagine panni visualize panni 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 kashto. Okay. I'll again explain. So first quadrant everything is positive. So everything is positive. X, Y, A, Z. First four quadrants Z is positive. Correct. First, second, third, fourth. We are on the positive side of Z. So Z is always positive. The next four quadrants Z is negative. So we are done with Z. Now y. Y is the first and second quadrant. We are in the positive side of y. Third and the fourth quadrant. We are in the negative side of y. When it comes to x. First quadrant positive. Next quadrant negative. Next to negative. Next to positive. Okay. So again that gets repeated on the other side also. Except z is negative. On the other side. Okay. So this is very simple. So we will solve some example questions. So example 1 from the textbook. In figure 12.3, if P, the point P is 2, 4, 5, find the coordinates of F. So F is the coordinates of the coordinates. Let me name them as X, Y, Z. You can see the figure on the screen. So basically, point P and F are located like this. So P and F are here. Okay? So from the diagram, what do you see? Point P and F are at the same distance from the x-axis. X-axis is outside the board. So basically, P and F are at the end of the end. One is at the end of the x-axis. So the x-coordinate will not change. So the x-coordinate will be 2. What will be my z-coordinate? I also see that the z-coordinate, which is the top. So Q in the malar, it is again parallel. The two points are on the straight line. So the z-axis coordinates will also not change. The x and the z will remain the same. Okay. So what about the y-coordinate? P in the point, y-axis in the it is over here. But f is directly below the y-axis. So which will be the coordinate will be 0. So what will be your coordinate, final coordinates? f will be 2, 0, 5. Okay. This is completely different from the table that we learned. The next example will be similar to the table. Okay. Example 2, find the octant in which the points minus 3, 1, 2, minus 3, 1, comma, 2 and minus 3, 1, comma, minus 2 lie in the octant in Kekrangar. Okay. So basically for the first you have the x coordinate is minus, the y is positive, the z is positive. So they are asking which octant we are in. So minus plus plus is in the second octant. Okay. Quadrant karayad. Second octant. So, we are in the second octant. So, similarly, for this particular point, x coordinate is negative, y is positive, and again z is negative. So, minus plus minus. Minus plus minus. So, we are in the sixth octant. Okay. So, this is how you solve such questions. So, always remember this table. Plus minus minus plus repeat. Plus plus minus minus repeat. Plus 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 plus. Add the four minus 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 minus. Okay. So, this is how you remember. Exercise 12.1. Okay. First question. A point is on the x-axis. What is its y-coordinate and z-coordinate? So, a point is on the x-axis now. For example, you take a 2D plane. Okay. So, if the point is on the x-axis, the point will be x, 0. So, if it is on the x-axis, the y-axis coordinate is 0. So, basically, you will have the x-coordinate. You will only have the x-coordinate. The y and the z will be a 0. Okay. So, basically, you have a point on the x-axis. Which means the other two coordinates are 0. Okay. Second question. A point is in the x, z plane. Okay. So basically you have x, y and z. I write it like this. x, y and z. Okay. So the point is on the x, z plane. So in the plane. Lirk. So basically this and this. So what will be my y coordinate? x, z plane. Lirk. Now the y coordinate is obviously 0. Because you have the x. You have the z coordinate but you do not have the y because it is on the x z plane. If x y plane is in that lower point, z axis is not So the z will be 0. So x z plane na y, y coordinate is 0. y z plane na x coordinate is 0. 
x y plane na z coordinate is zero okay so always remember this so i need to find out which octants the points are in that is my third question so first let me write the table okay so i have first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and the eighth octant i have x y and z examine the first eight go so x e irko plus minus minus plus repeat plus minus minus plus okay for so y ku plus plus minus minus again repeat plus plus minus minus for z you will have plus in the first four and minus in the last four okay so let me now solve the questions i'll first write down whatever i have question number 3 the points are 1 2 3 4 Minus two, three, four, minus two, minus five, four, two, minus five, minus four, two, minus five, minus four, two, five, minus three, minus one, six, minus two, minus four, minus seven. Okay. So these are my points. So first point la. I have the x coordinate is positive, y is positive, and z is positive. So plus 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 now I'm in my first octant. Okay. Then I have plus, minus, and plus. So plus minus plus I'm going to get fourth octant. So I'm in my fourth octant. Then plus, negative, and negative. So plus minus minus I'm going to get plus minus minus I'm in my eighth octant. Okay. In the exam you cannot imagine the three D structure. And be solving this, so it is always better if you can remember the table in the way I taught you. Okay, so in that table, plus, my plus and a minus. So I have plus plus minus now fifth octant. Then for this negative, positive, negative. So minus plus minus I get this over here. So we are in the sixth octant. Then minus plus plus, we are in the second octant. After that minus minus plus I get. Third octant. Then we have minus minus minus, which means we are in the seventh octant. Okay. So please remember the table. You can solve such questions easily. Question number four. These are some simple questions. The x-axis and the y-axis taken together determine the plane. X-axis you, y-axis you. Erita, what plane does it determine? X and y, which means x-y plane. Okay. If you have taken x z, it will be as x z plane. Okay, it is very easy. Fifth question: the coordinates of point in the x y plane. X y plane, let me come. I just told you. So x y plane, the coordinates will be. I'll have my x coordinates, y coordinates, but no z coordinates. Okay. Are they my y z plane? Let me come. I'll have my y coordinate, z coordinate, and no x coordinate. Okay. Always remember. For x z plane, I'll have my x, no y. And Z. Okay, this is not asked in the question, but then go. Okay. Sixth question. Sorry, these are all subsections. So fourth question, subsection one, two, three. Third subsection. Coordinate plane divides the space into how many octants? We just saw. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight octants. Okay. So we are done with the first exercise. So moving on to the distance formula. Okay. So distance formula. Now starting like explain for our Marie. For a two D plane, what did you have when you have two points x one y one x two y two? This is for a two D plane. What will be my distance formula? D equals root of x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. So since this is three D, I'll have three coordinates. So three D left here. Go. I'll have x one, y one, z one, and x two, y two, z two. So what is my distance formula? You just have to include the z coordinate. So it'll be root of z two minus z one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square plus x two minus x one the whole square, which is inside a square root. Okay. So you know the formula. So we'll solve some example questions. So I have example three. Let me copy the question. The points are p of one minus three comma four, and my other point is minus four one two. 
So Q is minus 4, 1, 2. Okay, so if distance formula use for now, this is my x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So formula labota d equals square root of z2 minus z1, 2 minus 4. So 2 minus 4 the whole square plus y2 minus y1. So 1 minus of minus 3 which will be 1 plus 3. So 1 plus 3 the whole square plus x2 minus x1. So minus 4 minus 1. So minus 4 minus 1 the whole square under a square root. So you then have a wrong. So the distance will be square root of 2 minus 4 and a minus 2. Minus 2 the whole square plus 1 plus 3 is 4. So 4 square plus minus 4 minus 1 which will be minus 5 the whole square inside a square root. So I will have 2 square and a 4 minus square will be positive. Plus 4 square is 16 plus minus 5 whole square is 25. So what will I have square root of 16 plus 4 20, 20 plus 5 45. So 45 every other 45 can be written as 5 9s are 3, 3s are. So 45 can also be written as 5 into 3 into 3. So square root length are 3 very little. So 3 root 5 units. So this will be the distance. Okay. So this is my question. I have points P, Q and R. I have to show that they are collinear. Collinear na anartho. P, Q and R. They all lie on the same line. Okay. So basically this is a 3D plane. Moon coordinates irukku, but I am drawing in a 2D plane. Don't get confused. This is very explanation. Matunna. So basically what do you see? If P, Q, R are collinear, they will be on the same line. So how do I prove that? First let me find the distance P, Q. I need to find my distance P, Q. I need to find my distance Q, R. For example, if P, Q, R are collinear, what will I have? Distance P, Q plus distance Q, R will be distance P, R. Correct? P, R equals P, Q plus P, R if the three points are collinear. So basically, I have to find my distance P, Q. Find my distance Q, R. Sorry. Q, R. And I have to see if it is equal to the distance P, R. Okay. So first P, Q, R. What is my distance formula? Z2 minus Z1. So which will be P, Q. So this is my X1, Y1, Z1. X2, Y2, Z2. Okay. So Z2 minus Z1 will be 3 minus 5 the whole square. Plus Y2 minus Y1. 2 minus 3 the whole square. Plus 1 minus of minus 2 which will be 1 plus 2 the whole square. So what will this be? Square root of 3 minus 5 is 2. So minus 2 square plus minus 1 square plus 3 square. So then I'll go. I'll have square root of 2 square is 4 plus 1 plus 3 square is 9. So what will I have? 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 4, 14. So square root of 14. So this is my distance PQ. What will be my distance QR? Square root of Q and R. So this is my x2, y2, z2. So I'll call this as x1, y1 and z1. So what will be my z2 minus z1? 3 minus of minus 1. So it will be 3 plus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1. So 2 minus 0. 2 minus 0 the whole square plus x2 minus x1 and I have 1 minus 7. So what will I have? Square root of 3 plus 1, 4 square plus 2 square plus minus 6 the whole square. So what will I have? 4 square 16 plus 4 plus 36. So it will be square root of 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 plus 36 is root 56. 56 is the prime factorization. Panna, 7, 8 sir. So 56 can also be written as 2 fours are so it is 2 root 14 agree i can take the 4 outside of the square root i'll be left with 7 twos are 14 inside the square root and 2 is taken outside so distance qr is 2 root 14 and then my distance pr what is distance pr now i'll take r to be okay now my coordinates are p minus 2 3 5 and r root coordinates 7 0 minus 1 so this is my x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. I wrote this again because I have written x1, y1, z1 here. I don't want to confuse you. So the distance will be z2 minus z1 which is minus 1 minus 5 the whole square plus 
y2 minus y1 which will be 0 minus 3 the whole square plus x2 minus x1 so 7 minus of minus 2 in there 7 plus 2 the whole square. So what will this be? Root of minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6 the whole square plus 0 minus 3 now minus 3 the whole square plus 7 plus 2 9 the whole square. So what will the result be? Root of 36 plus 3 square 9 plus 9 square 81. So what will I have? 81 plus 9 which is 90. 90 plus 36 is 126. So square root of 126. 126 save the 126 3 4 are 3 twos are 7 6 are. So this is basically square root of 3 times 7 times 3 into 2. Correct? Huh? So I can take the 3 outside. I will be left with 3 root 14. So root 126 can also be written as 3 root 14. Okay. So what do you see? What is PR? PR equals 3 root 14. PQ plus QR in a PQ plus QR equals root 14 plus 2 root 14. So what will this be? 3 root 14. I see that this is equal to PR. So since PQ plus QR equals PR, PQR are collinear. Ore line larkar nalada, the sum of PQ plus QR equals PR. Okay. So example 5, I have 3 coordinates. So, A, B, C, I have to find if these given vertices are the vertices of a right triangle. Right triangle, for example, if I have A, B, C to be my right triangle, I want A, C square equals A, B square plus B, C square. Correct? So, that is the proof. My vertices can be A, B, C or it can also be A, C, B or it can also be C, A, B. Okay? So, I am not going to draw the rough figure for you. I am going to find my answers and then see which will be the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side, correct? Huh? So first let me find the distance. So distance A, B and Z2 minus Z1 the whole square. So A, B now this will be my X1, Y1, Z1, X2, Y2, Z2. So Z2 minus Z1 and 30 minus 9 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 which is 20 minus 6 the whole square plus X2 minus X1, 10 minus 3 the whole square under a square root okay so if a b square and i can remove my square root so what will i have 30 minus 9 is 21 20 minus 6 is 14 square plus 10 minus 3 is 7 square so in our own 21 square is 441 plus 14 square is 196 plus 7 square is 49 so when i add them in our own 441 196 49 9 plus 1 10 16 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 8, 18, 1, 4, 5, 6, 6, 86. So this will be my AB square. Now next BC. Pakla. So what is BC? Square root of Z2 minus Z1. Now this Z2, I will take this as X1, Y1 and Z1. So Z2 minus Z1 is 30 minus 5 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1. So 20 minus minus 41. So it will be 20 plus 41. Plus x2 minus x1 so 10 minus 25 the whole square okay so when i remove the square root on both sides i'll have bc square equals 30 minus 5 and 25 square plus 20 plus 41 is 61 square plus 10 minus 25 is minus 15 square if a 25 square 15 square la every one la you have a shortcut 25 times 25 now first you do 5 5s are 25 then in the number record i have a 2 so what is 2 into what is the number after 2? 3. So 3 2s are 6. Okay. Are they 15 square? 15 times 15 na. First 5 5s are 25. Then 1 times what is the other next number? 2. So 2 1s are 2. Are they 95? 95 times 95 na. 5 5s are 25. I have 9. 9 got the number 10. So 9 10s are 90. So 95 into 95 is 9025. Okay. This is a shortcut that you can remember. So this will be 25 square in a 625 plus 15 square in a 225. What is 61 square? 61 into 61. So 161. Therefore 0. 61s are 6. 36. 1, 12, 7, 3. Okay. So it will be 3, 7, 2, 1. So I need to add these values. So I have 3, 7, 2, 1 plus 625 plus 225. Which will be 5 plus 5, 10, 11. 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 7 plus 6, 13, 14, 15, 1, 4, 5, 7, 1. So I have 4, 5, 7.
7, 1 is my BC square. Now I need to find my AC square. So AC square in there, I'll erase this. Now, AC square, I'll simply square it, okay? I'm not writing the square root. So I have x2, z2 minus z1. So first A, V, C, V, I, D, now. Okay? So I have A, which is 3, 6, 9. C, which is 25 minus 41, comma 5. So this is my x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So a c square in a z2 minus z1 which is 5 minus 9 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 minus 41 minus 6 plus x2 minus x1 25 minus 3 the whole square. So this will be 5 minus 9 in a 4. So minus 4 square plus minus 41 minus 6. So it will be minus 47 square plus 25 minus 3. 22 square. So this will be 16 plus 47, 47 in a 7, 7s are 49, 7, 4s are 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 7, 4s are 28, 2, 4, 4s are 16, 17, 18. So 9, 10, 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 1, 2, 0, 9 plus 22 square in a 22 times 22. So 2, 2s are 4, 2, 2s are 4, 0, 2, 2s are 4, 4, 484. Okay. 22 square will be 484. Now I need to add all these values. So I have 1, 2, 0, 9. 4, 84 and 16. I'm going to add these. 6 plus 4, 10, 19. 1, 8, 9, 10. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. So, 1, 7, 0, 9. Okay. Sorry, when I add this, I'll have 2, 2, 0, 9. So, in that light will be 2, 7, 0, 9. Okay. So, my final answer will be 2, 7, 0, 9. Now, what do I see? Okay. Now, what do I see? AB square is 60, 686, BC square is 4571, AC square is 2709. So, I have, this is my largest number. So, BC square equals AB square plus AC square. Check on no. Okay. I have to see if this is true. What is BC square? 4571 because this is the largest number. Then the other two are the smallest. So, AB square in a 686. Plus AC square is 2709. So what do I get when I add these two? 2709, 686. 9 plus 6 is 15, 1, 9, 13, 3. So I get 3395, which is not equal to 4571. So the given vertices are not a vertices of a right triangle. Not the vertices of a right triangle. Okay? So, this is how you write your final step. So, example 6, we are given the points A and B and we need to find out the equation, find the equation of the set of point P such that this relation is given. So, first P and then you know, we will take P as X, Y and Z. They are not asking us to find the coordinates X, Y and Z. Equation na kekraga, okay. So, P, A na na pano. So, the distance P, A square is nothing but the distance P A whole square. Okay. So what is distance P A square? It will be Z2 minus Z1 the whole square and the formula. So I have the distance formula. This is my X1, Y1, Z1, X2, Y2, Z2. So Z2 minus Z1 the whole square. So 5 minus Z the whole square. Z2 kun 2 kun differentiate pananga. Okay. Don't get confused between the Z and the 2. So 5 minus Z there. Then I have 4 minus Y the whole square. Plus I again have 3 minus x, the whole square. So, this is my P A square. Similarly, P B square in a, now this will be my x2, y2, z2. So, z2 minus z1 will be minus 7 minus z the whole square plus y2, y1. So, 3 minus y the whole square plus x2, x1. So, minus 1 minus x, the whole square. So, P A square plus P B square in a, I will have 5 minus z the whole square plus 4 minus y the whole square, plus 3 minus x the whole square, plus minus 7 minus z the whole square, 3 minus y whole square, plus minus 1 minus x the whole square equals 2k square. Okay. So, if you a minus b the whole square formula, I am going to open them. So, I have 5 minus z the whole square, which will be 25 plus z square minus 2ab. So, it will be 10z. Plus, again, 4 4s are 16, y square minus 8y plus in the term 3 3s are 9 plus x square minus 6x. If I in the term, so I have plus 49 plus z square 
minus 2ab which will be 2 times minus 7z. So it will be plus 14z plus 3 minus y the whole square is 9 plus y square minus 6y. In the term one the minus 1 whole square which will be 1 plus x square minus 2ab. So it will be 2 times minus 1 times x. So 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. So it will become plus 2x equals 2k square. So if I have z square z square. So 2z square plus y square y square. So 2y square then x square x square. Okay. So 2x square. Then z order coefficients and I have minus 10z. And I have 14z. So minus 10 plus 14 is 4. So plus 4z. Y and R care minus 8y minus 6y. So I have minus 8 minus 6 is minus 14. So I have minus 14y. X and R care minus 6 plus 2. So minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. So minus 4x. Then what are all my constants? 25 plus 16 which will be 30, 41 plus in the end, what do I have here? 9 plus 49, which will be 58. Then I have 9 plus 1, which is 10. Okay. Equals 2k square. So, when I add the constants, I have 41 plus 58 plus 10, which will be 99 plus 10, which will be 109. So, what do I have? 2z square plus 2y square plus 2x square plus 4z minus 14y minus 4x equals 2k square minus I have 109. 109. So this is the equation. Okay. Exercise 12.2. This exercise is purely based on the distance formula. So distance formula Practice pani you will not make mistakes with the sign. Okay. So question number one. First subsection. 2, 3, 5, 4, 3, 1. So this is my x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So the distance formula will be z2 minus z1 the whole square, 1 minus 5 the whole square, plus 3 minus 3 the whole square, plus 4 minus 2 the whole square inside the square root. So what will I have? 1 minus 5, 4 square, plus 0 square, plus 2 square, minus 4 square, but square panna. The minus goes off. Okay. So I have 16 plus 0 plus 4 which is root 20. Root 20 every other long. 5 times 4 which is 2 into 2. So this will be 2 root 5. Okay. So this is 2 root 5 units. Always write units. Second subsection. 2, 4, minus 1. So x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So what do I have? The distance equals z2 minus z1 which will be minus 1 minus 2 the whole square plus 4 minus 7 the whole square plus 2 minus of minus 3 which will be 2 plus 3 the whole square. So then I go this be minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 the whole square plus 4 minus 7 is minus 3 the whole square plus 2 plus 3 pi square inside the square root. So then I go minus 3 square is 9 plus 9 plus 25. So 25 plus 9 and 34, 34 plus 9 is 43. So root of 43 units. Third subsection. The points are minus 1, 3, minus 4 and 1, minus 3, 4. Okay. So the distance will be x1, y1, z1 x2, y2, z2. So z2 minus z1 the whole square. 4 minus of minus 4 which will be 4 plus 4 the whole square. Plus minus 3 minus 3 the whole square. Plus 1 minus of minus 1 is 1 plus 1 the whole square. So this will be square root of 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 square is 64. Plus minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 and minus 6 the whole square is 36. Plus 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 square is 4. 64 plus 36 is 100. 100 plus 4 is 104. So square root of 104 can also be written as prime factorization panna 2 
फाइव जार टू जार टू टू जार टू सिक्स जार सो टू स्क्वायर रूट रूट वैल्यू लेता एल हैव टू रूट ट्वेंटी सिक्स यूनिट्स ओके फोर्थ सबसेक्शन टू माइनस वन थ्री माइनस टू वन एंड थ्री सो एक्स वन वाई वन जेड वन एक्स टू वाई टू जेड टू ओके so the distance will be z2 minus z1 the whole square 3 minus 3 the whole square plus 1 minus of minus 1 which is 1 plus 1 the whole square minus 2 minus 2 the whole square which is 0 plus 1 plus 1 2 2 square 4 eh? plus minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 minus 4 the whole square is plus 16 so i have root of 20 adhe mari root of 20 so i have 2 root 5 units Question number two. I have to show that the given points are collinear. So collinear, na, it is very similar to the example question. So I'll name them as A, B, and C. So the distance A B is root of z two minus z one. Z two minus z one. Three minus five the whole square plus two minus three the whole square plus one minus of minus two which is one plus two the whole square. So this will be my A B. B C na go B C na. root of z2 minus z1 minus 1 minus 3 the whole square plus 0 minus 2 the whole square plus 7 minus 1 the whole square so this will be my bc what will be my ac i have to look at these two points so z2 minus z1 square root of minus 1 minus 5 the whole square plus 0 minus 3 the whole square plus 7 minus of minus 2 so 7 plus 2 The whole square. So if then over all minus three minus five is minus two. Minus two the whole square is four. Plus two minus three minus one minus one square is one. Plus one plus two three three square is nine. So what I have nine plus one ten. Ten plus four fourteen. So square root of fourteen. So if this all panna minus one minus three is minus four the whole square which will be sixteen. Plus minus two the whole square four. Plus seven minus one is six. Six square is thirty six. So what will I have? Thirty six plus four is forty. Forty plus sixteen is root fifty six. Fifty six every year, thala eight into seven. So this can also be written as two into two into two into seven. So square root kulla endu thina I can remove this two. So I'll have two root forty. Again minus one minus five, which is minus six the whole square thirty six plus zero minus minus three the whole square is nine. Plus seven plus two nine is nine square. Eighty one. So I'll have eighty one plus nine is ninety. Ninety plus thirty six is one twenty six. So square root of one twenty six. Every other one twenty six. Prime factorization two six r two three z r three two z r three one z r three seven z r. So three a common at that. I have three root forty. Okay. So what do I see? A B plus B C equals A C. Correct? Ah. So A B plus B C is equal to root fourteen plus two root fourteen. Equals three root fourteen, which is also equal to A C. So A plus A B plus B C equals A C. Apa A B plus B C. So इधर एंड तीनों ऐड पना, I'm getting A C. Correct? Ah? So this means they are collinear. So A B C are collinear. Okay, it is very similar to the example question. Question number three, first subsection. I'm given three points. I'll name them as A. B and C. So I have to prove that the given vertices are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle na na two sides are equal, correcta? So I need to find the distance of AB, BC, and CA using the distance formula and see if two distances are equal. When the distance equal are the na the given vertices are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. So first distance AB will be z2 minus z1 minus six minus of minus ten. It will be minus six plus ten. Okay. Minus six plus ten the whole square plus y coordinate y two minus y one so six minus seven the whole square plus x two minus x one one minus zero the whole square okay this is under the square root so again b c k first I'll write down the distances then I'll calculate so b c k and b and c so minus six minus of minus six which will be minus six plus six so square root of minus six plus six the whole square plus Nine minus six, the whole square, 
plus 4 minus 1, the whole square. AC will be square root of A and C. Pakano. So, minus 6 minus of minus 10 is minus 6 plus 10, the whole square, plus 9 minus 7, the whole square, plus 4 minus 0, the whole square, under the square root. So, what will I have? Minus 6 plus 10 is 4 square, which is 16, plus 6 minus 7 minus 1, minus 1 square is 1, plus 1 square is again 1. So, what will I have? 16, 17, 18. So, root of 18 units. So, this is the distance AB. So, BC can have minus 6 plus 6 is 0. Square root of 0 plus 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 square is 9, plus 4 minus 1, 3, 3 square is 9. So, I will have root 18 units. So, in here, I see that AB equals BC. So, the given vertices are vertices of an isosceles triangle. If AC is equal to the same thing, it is equal to the same thing. It is equal to the same thing, isosceles triangle. AC is equal to the same thing, we will have an equilateral triangle. Okay? So, what will this be? Minus 6 plus 10, 4 square, which is 16. Plus 9 minus 7, 2 square, which is 4. 4 square, which is 16. So, 16 plus 4, 20. 20 plus 16 is 36. So, root 36, which is 6 units. So, it doesn't matter what my third side is. So, I have AB equals BC. So, the given vertices are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Okay. So, I am given three vertices and I have to prove that they are the vertices of a right triangle. So, the A, B and C. So, for a right triangle, I want the hypotenuse square equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Correct? That is the side. So, first we will find out the distance. Okay. So, I want a, B square, which means I can remove the square root. So, A, B, K, Z2 minus Z1, the whole square, 6 minus 10, the whole square, plus 6 minus 7, the whole square, plus minus 1, minus 0. So, it will be minus 1, minus 0, the whole square. It is A, B square. Next, B, C square will be B and C. So, I have 6 minus 6, the whole square, plus 9 minus 6, the whole square, plus minus 4, minus of minus 1, which will be minus 4 plus 1 the whole square. And then my AC square in our row. AC square will be 6 minus 10 the whole square. Plus 9 minus 7 the whole square. Plus minus 4 minus 0 the whole square. So, either calculate for in our row. 6 minus 10 is minus 4. Minus 4 square is 16. Plus 6 minus 7 is 1. 1 square is 1. Minus 1 whole square is 1. So, this will be 16, 17, 18, Units. Okay. This will be unit square. Okay. We have squared on both sides. So, this will be square units. Okay. 6 minus 6, 0. Plus 9 minus 6, 3. 3 square is 9. Minus 4 plus 1. So, it will be minus 3 the whole square which is also 9. So, this will be 18 square units. Are they minus 6 minus 10? What will I have? Minus 4 the whole square is 16. Plus 9 minus 7 is 2. 2 square is 4. Plus minus 4 the whole square is again 16. So, I have 16 plus 16, 32. 32 plus 4 is 36. Okay. So, what do I have? AC square the largest. So, I have AC square which is 36 equals AB square plus BC square. So, AB square plus BC square which is 18 plus 18 which is 36. So, 36 equals 36 which means AC square equals AB square plus BC square. So, the given vertices are of the right triangle. Okay, you have to write the answer like that. Write the entire sentence. The given vertices are the vertices of a right triangle. Okay. So, I need to show that the given vertices are the vertices of a parallelogram. Parallelogram na na, the opposite sides are equal and parallel. But in that parallel lam prove na, you can prove that the opposite sides are equal which means you have to find the distance formula. So, I will first name them. A, B, C and D. So, I need to find the distance A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. I have to see which two sides are equal. If the two sides are equal, opposite sides are equal, then is the vertices of a parallelogram. Okay. So, A, B and F, 5 minus 1 the whole square plus minus 2 minus 2 the whole square plus 1 minus of minus 1 is 1 plus 1 the whole square. BC, this will be under the square root. Okay. Square root of this. BC, it will be 8 minus 5. So this will be square root of 8 minus 5 the whole square plus BC. So, minus 7 plus 2. Minus 7 
plus 2 the whole square, 4 minus 1 the whole square. Okay. Next is CD. So, I have 4 minus 8, 4 minus 8 the whole square plus minus 3 plus 7, minus 3 plus 7 the whole square plus 2 minus 4 the whole square. Okay. DA in our row which means AD. So, I can do 4 minus 1 the whole square. 4 minus 1 the whole square plus minus 3 minus 2. Minus 3 minus 2 the whole square plus 2 minus of minus 1 in a 2 plus 1 the whole square. So, what will I have? 5 minus 1 4 eh? 4 square 16 plus minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 square is again 16 plus 1 plus 1 2 2 square is 4. So, I will have 16 plus 16 32 32 plus 4 is 6 36. So, root of 36 will be 6 units. Okay. In the distance when the 8 minus 5 which is 3. 3 square is 9. Plus minus 7 plus 2. Minus 5 the whole square which is 25. Plus 4 minus 1 and 3. 3 square is 9. So I have 25 plus 9 which is 34. 34 plus 9 is root 43. Either further I simplify one over the other. So root 43 units. Again, either I put 4 minus 8 is minus 4 the whole square 16. Minus 3 plus 7, 4 square, 16. 2 minus 4, minus 2 whole square, 4. It is the same as this. I have root 36, which is 6 units. In that line, our 4 minus 1, which is 3 the whole square, 9. Minus 3 minus 2, which is minus 5 whole square, 25. 2 plus 1, 3, 3 square is 9. Again, I have the same thing. So, I have root 43 units. So, what do I have? AB equals CD. And BC equals DA. Okay. So, I have that two sides are equal. But if the opposite are just and done, I So, I have a parallelogram. So, if the vertices are cyclic. So, I have A, B, C, D. You should not write A, B, C, D. Okay. Wa? So, A, B, C, D. I have A, B equals C, D. So, A, B equals C, D. These two sides are equal. B, C equals D, A. So, B, C equals D, A. So, I have the opposite sides are equal. So, you have to check opposite side and adjacent on Pakano. If AB equals BC in Vandadunichko, you have the adjacent sides to be equal. Opposite sides equal kadayad. So, parallelogram kadayad. So, opposite adjacent on check pananga. The opposite sides are equal. So, the given vertices are the vertices of a parallelogram. So, it's parallel GM na gram. Parallelogram. Okay, short form. So, I have given two vertices. So, the question is find the equation of the set of points which are equidistant. So, equation of a point P. For example, there is a point P and I name them as A and B. So, this point P is equidistant from the point A and B. So, in the distance O, in the distance O equal. So, I have PA equals PB. So, I need to find the equation of the point which is equidistant from a and B. A and B lay in the equal distance like P A equals P B. Okay. So, what is P A? Okay. Let me first take P to be X comma Y comma Z. So, the distance P A will be square root of Z2 minus Z1. Z minus 3 the whole square plus Y minus 2 the whole square plus X minus 1 the whole square. So, this will be my P A. So, what will be my P B? P B na? these two points. So, I have z2 minus z1 square root of z minus of minus 1 which will be z plus 1 the whole square. z2 kun 2 kun differentiate panaga. I will write 2 like this, z like this. Okay. z plus 1 the whole square plus y minus 2 the whole square plus x minus 3 the whole square. Okay. Inside the square root. So, I have pa equals pb which means I can Equate the two square roots. I am going to square on both sides. So, what will I have? Z minus 3 the whole square plus y minus 2 the whole square plus x minus 1 the whole square equals z plus 1 the whole square plus y minus 2 the whole square plus x minus 3 the whole square. So, if a minus b for a minus b whole square formula use panni open manakora z minus 3 the whole square na z square plus 9 square minus 6z plus y square plus 4 minus 4y plus x square plus 1 minus 2x equals Ipo right hand side z square plus 1 plus 2z plus y square plus 4 minus 4y plus x square plus 9 minus 6x. 
So what do you see? The z square and the z square gets cancelled. Y square, y square point off. X square, X square point off. So what am I left with? Okay, I only have 9. Okay, there is no 9 square. So what all do I have? X can occur minus 2x minus 4y minus 6z. And I'm going to bring the x, y and z to my left hand side. So I have minus 6x in the form of the plus 6x. I have minus 4y. This will become plus 4y. Plus 2z will become minus 2z equals. I have 1 plus 4 plus 9. And what constants do I have on the LHS? I have plus 9. I have minus 9. Then I have plus 4. So it will become minus 4. Then I have plus 1. So it will become minus 1. So in general, minus 4y plus 4y gets cancelled. Plus 6z minus 2z I have. Minus 2x plus 6x will be plus 4x. Minus 6z minus 2z. So it will become minus 8z equals 1 minus 1 cancel I don't. 4 minus 4 cancel I don't. 9 minus 9 cancel I don't. So I have a 0. So basically when I divide the whole equation by 4 I have x minus 2z equals 0. So this is my final equation. Okay. You simply have to equate the distances and solve them. It is given that I have two points A and B. So the question is find the equation of set of points P. The sum of whose distance from P. Okay. The sum of whose distance from A and B. So I have a point P. I have a point A. And I have a point B. So PA plus PB. PA plus PB is given to be 10. Okay. The question is find the equation. The sum of whose distance, sum of whose distance from the point A and B is given to be 10. So what will be your given question? PA plus PB equals 10. So now I need to find the distance PA, distance PB and equate it to 10. One question is but extra I have a 10. Last question was PA equals PB. Here PA plus PB equals 10. Okay. So the point P will be X comma Y comma Z. So PA, PA will be square root of z minus 0 the whole square plus y minus 0 the whole square plus x minus 4 the whole square. Okay. So this will be my PA. PB will be z minus 0 the whole square plus y minus 0 the whole square plus x minus 4 the whole square. So x minus x minus of minus 4 which will be x plus 4 the whole square. Okay. So if a PA plus PB in that Okay. What is PA? Square root of Z square plus Y square plus X minus 4 the whole square. This will be Z square plus Y square plus X plus 4 the whole square. So this will be my PA and PB. So if a total equation in our call. So this will be my PA and PB. So in the my question I solve PA equals 10 minus PB. So I'm going to take this equation. I'm going to square on both sides. So what will I have? PA square equals 10 minus PB the whole square. So what will I have? PA square equals 10 minus PB the whole square. Now A minus B the whole square which will be A square plus B square which is PB square minus 2AB. So 2 times 10 into PB. Correct? If a value is substitute for now what will be my PA square? I can remove the square root. So I will be left with Z square plus Y square plus X minus 4 the whole square which will be x square plus 16 minus 8x equals 100 plus pb square and pb is square root of this. So pb square will be the square root I remove and it will have z square plus y square plus I have x plus 4 the whole square. So I will open it and I will have x square plus 16 plus 4 twos are 8, 8x. Okay. Don't forget this. Minus 2ab which will be 20pb. 20pb. pb is the square root of this. I will have it as pb for a while. Okay. Did you understand what I did? First PA plus PB 10 in Kutrika. PA is nothing but 10 minus PB. I am squaring on both sides. So PA square equals 10 minus PB the whole square which will be 100 plus PB square minus 2AB which will be 2 times A into B. So 2 into 10 into PB which will be 20 PB. Okay, I am going to have this as 20 PB for a while. I am going to solve this. So Z square, Z square cancel I don't. Y square, Y square, X square and X square. I also see that I have a plus 16 and a plus 16. So the plus 16 and plus 16 will get cancelled. So what do I have? I have minus 8X. In the book, minus 100 
plus 8x. So, in the form, I will have minus 8x. What term is remaining? Plus 20pb equals 0. So, this will be my equation. If you solve it, minus 8x minus 8x will be minus 16x minus 100 plus 20pb equals 0. Dividing the whole equation by 4, I have minus 4x minus 25 plus 4 5s are there. So, 5pb equals 0. So, when I take these two terms to my right hand side, I have 5pb equals 4x plus 25. So, I have this equation. Now, again, I am going to square on both sides. Let me square root over here. So, 5pb the whole square equals 4x plus 25 the whole square. So, if you want to do this, 5pb the whole square will be 25pb square. What is pb square? It is this. So, I will have 25 times pb square and square root poeta z square plus y square plus x plus 4 whole square will be x square plus 16 plus 8x equals what will be my right hand side? 4x plus 25 the whole square. A plus B whole square. So, it will be 16x square plus 25 square in a 625 plus 2AB. So, it will be 2 times 4x into 25. So, 2 times 25, 50. 50 into 4 will be 200. So, okay. So, 200x. So, what do I have? 25z square. 25 multiply pandra. Plus 25y square plus 25x square plus 25 into 16. So, what is 25 into 16? 6 5s are 30, 6 2s are 12, 12 13 put in 15, 5 1s are 5, 25, 0, 10, 1, 400. So, plus 400 plus 25 into 8. 8 5s are 40, 4, 8 2s are 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, I will have 200 x. If I will have minus 16 x square, minus 625, minus 200 x minus 200 x equals 0. So, what happens when I solve 25 z square up here go, plus 25 y square. I have 25 x square minus 16 x square. So, that will be plus 9 x square. Then I have 200 x so minus 200 x so cancel I know. So, this will get cancelled. I have 400 minus 625. So, I know wrong. It will be minus 225 equals 0. So, this will be my final equation. Okay. So, you understood what I did here. I have two points and the sum of the distance from P to the points A and B is 10 in Kutrike. So, PA plus PB equals 10 in a PA ko PB ko or equation. I am squaring on both sides. I am solving them because I want to avoid the square root. Square root avoid for no. So, I get an equation which is 5PB equals 4X plus 25. So, I get something in terms of PB. What is PB? It is again a square root. So, square root avoid under the I am squaring on both sides. So, I have 5pb square which will be 25pb square. What is pb square? I can remove the square root. So, I get this equation. Then, I have 4x plus 25. a plus b the whole square. So, I get this a square plus b square plus 2ab. If I then 25 will multiply, I will have this equation. I am bringing the RHS to my LHS. If I cancel, this will be my final equation. Okay. So, this is what is asked. So, we are done with exercise 12.2. Section formula. Okay. So, section formula number 2D. Okay. For example, if you have two points A and B with vertices x1, y1, and x2, y2. Okay. So, if this is split by the point in the ratio m is to n, so the point n are going for P when the x, y abina, we'll have the coordinate of x, y to be m x1 plus m x2 divided by m plus n comma m y1 plus n y2 divided by m plus n. This is 2d ki path koma. If I do this, 3d ki path koma. But we have a point which splits the line internally and externally. So, first add the path koma. So, when we have internally na, whatever we have learnt till date is internally. So, for example, you have a point A and it is B and this is 1, 1, 1. So, 1 is to 1 is to 1 like So, this will be in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, if a point P in Girkana, the P splits the line AB in the ratio 2 is to 1 internally. Internally, the point P lies between A and B. A and B can not be So, the point P splits 
AB. So the point P divides. Divides AB in the ratio 2 is to 1. So this is internally. Externally na anartho. So externally na. So I take a line. I will have a similar partition. So in the I will have P. Okay. So the point P is now here. I have A and B. Okay. So this is of the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1. If I the point P lies between A and B. But in the point P does not lie between A and B. But point P, A, B, every divide pannu there. So here you go from A to P. Correct? So you go from A to P. Then P to B. So you have to go from A to P. And then you have to travel back from P to B. So this is the difference between internally and externally. Okay? The theory you have to do is you have to do this. So you have A to P and P to A. A to P and P to A. So A to P is the ratio 2. P to B is the ratio 1. So similarly, if you have A to P, it will be 2. And this will again be 1, 2, 3. So the ratio will be P to B. 3. So here P divides AB. Here it divides internally. Yeah. It divides AB internally. Here it divides AB externally in the ratio 1, 2. So 2 is to 3. Correct? It will be 1, 2, 3. It divides in the ratio 2 is to 3. So you understood the difference between internally and externally. Internally, na, the point P has to be between A and B. So in that, la, one direction. La we are going to the right. So, A to P will be 2, is to P to B will be 1. But in that, you have a sign change. Okay? So, when you go from A to P, left la travel. Pandra. So, it will be minus 2. And when you are travelling from P to B, it will be positive. So, it will be 3. Okay? We have a sign convention. Thana. So, left la da, I can take it as positive 2. And right la da, I can take it as negative 3. Okay? So, this is the difference in the formula that you have. So, if you 3D, ke enna formula? 2D can a formula pato in the formula pato. If a 3D can a pako pato, if a 3D, when it divides internally. So, what will be my formula? The coordinates x, y, and z will be mx2 plus, okay, mx2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n, m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n. You have z, so you have m z2 plus n z1 divided by m plus n. So this this will be your coordinates when it is divided internally. If I externally na you see that when m is positive, n is negative. Correct? So in the formula la you will have negative n. So what will be your formula? So x, y, z will be mx2 minus n x1. N not a value negative I know. Divided by m minus n comma m y2 minus n y1 divided by m minus n and my third coordinate will be n minus n pota i'll have m z2 minus n z1 divided by m minus n so this is the difference in the formula between internally and externally either one the externally okay so this formula is for externally so the only difference is in that the m n are both positive in the other n is negative okay so that's why you have a minus okay so this is the difference between the formulas internally now we go in one direction externally now we go in one direction and then we move in the opposite direction so one direction positive na in one direction negative so this is your formula for 2d and this is your formula for 3d so in the formula the use panaporo internally na mx2 nx1 m plus n externally na mx2 minus nx1 divided by m minus n. Okay, you have another section formula. This is section formula. Tha, but you have another general one. Which is when you take the ratio m divided by n to be k. Correct? Type. In the le, basically ratio n. The ratio is m is to n. Here the ratio is m is to minus n. So basically the ratio m is to n. I am going to take it as k. So what will be your final coordinates internally so i'll have the whole equation m n all divide panna i'll have m divided by n plus 1 x1 so basically i'll have k x2 plus x1 divided by k plus 1 comma k y2 plus y1 divided by k plus 1 
and k z2 plus z1 divided by k plus 1. Purida, when I take k to be m divided by n, so this particular formula changes into this formula. Okay. Basically, in that numerator and denominator n all divide panna n ago. You will have m divided by n x2 plus x1 divided by m divided by n plus 1. So, m divided by n you are writing k. Okay. So, this will be your formula. So, we will use all these formulas to solve the examples and exercise questions. Okay. So, remember in the formula, this is the general formula k which this will be with m and n internally. This is with m and n externally. Okay. Remember these three formulas. The question is, you have a point which let me take it as P with coordinates X, Y and Z. This point P divides the line segment AB in the ratio 2 is to 3. Okay. So, you have to find the coordinates in which it divides internally and externally. Okay. So, no, no, no. First, internally. So, what is the formula? The coordinates of X, Y and Z is MX2 plus NX1 divided by m plus n. It is all positive. Comma m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n. Comma m z2 plus m z1 divided by m plus n. So value substitute for now what will I have? m value and this is my m is 2 n. So my m value is 2. My n value is 3. So x2 x1. Let me mark them. x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 Z2, okay. So, M X2, which will be 2 times X2 is 3 plus 3 times X1 and 1 divided by M plus N, which is 2 plus 3, comma, M Y2. So, it will be 2 times 4 plus 3 times Y1 and a minus 2 divided by M plus N, which is 2 plus 3, comma, M Z2, 2 times minus 5 plus 3 times, sorry, this is N. 3 times 3 divided by 2 plus 3. So, answer in our row, I will have 3 2s are 6 plus 3 1s are 3 divided by 3 plus 2 is 5, comma 4 2s are 8, 3 2s are minus 6 divided by 5, comma minus 10 plus 9 divided by 5. Okay, so what will be my coordinates? 6 plus 3, 9, 9 divided by 5. 8 minus 6 is 2. So, 2 divided by 5, minus 10 plus 9. So, it will be minus 1 divided by 5. So, these are my coordinates when it is divided internally. Externally, I will only have a minus sign. So, externally, in the formula, I will have minus, minus, minus. So, what will be? So, the first coordinate will be m minus 3 into 1 divided by 2 minus 3, comma. So, this will be 2 times 4 minus 3 into minus 2 divided by 2 minus 3. Come on, this will be 2 times minus 5 minus 3 into 3 divided by 2 minus 3. Okay, where the minus is going to Wherever you have a plus, I have to write with minus because for externally the formula is minus n. mx2 minus nx1 divided by m plus n. So, this will be 3 2s are. So, it will be 6 minus 3. Divided by 2 minus 3 is minus 1, comma, 4 2s are 8, 3 2s are 6 plus 6. So, 8 plus 6 divided by minus 1, minus 10 minus 9. So, it will be minus 10 minus 9 divided by minus 1. So, what will be my coordinates? 6 minus 3 is 3, 3 divided by minus 1, minus 3. 8 plus 6 is 14, 14 by 1 is minus 14. Minus 10 minus 9, minus 19 by minus 1 is plus 19. Okay. So, this will be my coordinates when it is divided externally. Okay. Example 8, I have given 3 points. I have to prove if they are collinear. So, if you have a distance formula, we saw that whether they, if they lie in the same line, I will have AB plus BC equals AC. Okay. So, if a section formula, we have to use that method. So, what will you do? You have the points A, B and C. Okay. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to take a point P which lies between A and B. In the point P, I am going to see if this point P coincides with point C. So, I am going to see if point P equals point C. If point P equals point C, 
they are collinear okay so point p divides the line segment ab in the ratio k is to 1 okay so by using the formula that we just learned the coordinates of p i'm going to take them as x y and z okay so it will be x comma y comma z will be k x2 plus x1 divided by k plus 1 comma k y2 plus y1 divided by k plus 1 comma k z2 plus z1 divided by k plus 1 so this will be my coordinates of p so what is my x1 x2 y x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 so formula la pota i'll have k times x2 plus x1 which is minus 4 divided by k plus 1 comma k y2 which will be k times 4 plus y1 and 6 divided by k plus 1 comma k z2 which means i have k times 6 plus z1 and 10 divided by k plus 1 so these are my coordinates of p so now if they coincide with the point c so i have the point c which is 14 comma 0 comma minus 2 so id eppadi check pandrudhe first let me take the x coordinate so what i have 14 equals 2k minus 4 divided by k plus 1 correct ah idu cross multiply panna 14k plus 14 equals 2k minus 4 when i bring this to the left hand side i have 14k minus 2k equals minus 4 Minus fourteen, minus four, minus fourteen. So I'll have fourteen minus two is twelve k equals minus eighteen. So k equals minus eighteen divided by twelve. So six are upon na six twos are six threes are. So I'll have the value of k to be minus three divided by two. So I found out what my value of k is. Now let me substitute in this and this and see if I get these two. First fourteen you even equate pani ta. Okay, so I got a value of k. If I in the k value, ingio ingio substitute panna, I should get the value of zero if I substitute k value to be minus three by two, and I should get the value of minus two if I substitute the value of three minus three by two for k. If the end of the substitute panni in the answer wonder chena, I can prove that the point P is nothing but point C. So this is my point C, and this is my point P. If point P and C are equal, which means the coordinates are equal. Okay. So what do I do? I substitute k equals minus three by two. To 4k plus 6 divided by k plus 1. If you substitute, पना ना गो 4 times minus 3 by 2 plus 6 divided by minus 3 by 2 plus 1. So इधर ना गो cancel आ गो. So I'll have 2 minus 6 plus 6. So I'll have minus 6 plus 6 divided by minus 3 by 2 plus 1, which is minus 6 plus 6 and a zero. So I've got my y coordinate. So similarly, z coordinate क्या ना पन्ना I'm going to equal Value of k in this, so k equals minus three by two in six k plus ten divided by k plus one. So I know around six into minus three by two plus ten divided by minus three by two plus one. So then I go. Let me take the LCM. So I'll have minus eighteen plus LCM at the twenty divided by two. The whole divided by this LCM at the I'll have minus three. Plus two, the whole divided by two. I'm going to cancel this two and this two. In that plane, I can cancel. Pannal, I want to cancel like this. Okay, minus eighteen plus twenty and a two divided by minus three plus two is minus one. So I'll have minus two. So I'm again getting the y coordinate. So the points are nothing but fourteen, zero, and minus two with k value to be minus three by two. So my k value is minus three by two, which is M divided by n. So m is to n, and the three is to two, and it divides externally. So the ratio is three is to two, and it divides externally because I have a negative sign. Correct? Ha? So this is my final answer. So basically, this k color ratio k color. They are asking if they are collinear. So I have proved that the point P, which I assumed it to be collinear, is equal to the point C. So A, B, C are collinear. So that is my final answer. A, B, C are collinear. Okay. it is given that these are the vertices of a triangle okay so this is example 9 let me name them as a b and c okay first centroid na enna i have a triangle a b c the line drawn from the midpoint to the 
opposite side point of intersection of line drawn from the midpoint to the opposite side from the midpoint to the opposite side and from the midpoint to the opposite side ipo idu d na idu e and f so basically the point of intersection of the line joining lines joining the midpoint of one side to the opposite side so idu da centroid we name the centroid with the letter g so if g oda coordinates tha enna nu kekranga okay so how will you find out you have learnt in similar triangles the centroid divides this line in the ratio 2 is to 1 yabaga iruka so it divides this line in the ratio 2 is to 1 and this is divided in the ratio 2 is to 1 idu eppadi prove pannano i'm not going to get into the entire proof but i'll give you an idea so when i join the line ef i'll have these two triangles a f e and a b c triangle a f e is similar to the triangle a b c idoda similarity eppadi prove panninga you have af equal to half of ab appadina nartho ab is twice af ac is twice ae which means bc is twice ef so i have bc equals 2 times ef okay so in the result in the similar triangles lende varudhu so when i take the two triangles f e g and triangle f e g edutha i have to take the triangle c b g correct ah c b g because these two are alternate angles and these two are alternate angles and you already know the relation between ef and bc a similar triangles eduthirukken okay so triangle f e g and c b g they are similar by which property a s a okay so i have a a s property these two are similar triangles so appa ena relation varudhu i'll get the relation between bg and ge correct ah i'll get the relation between bg and ge bg and ge what relation will i get bc ku ef ku already relation irukku bc and ef ku ena relation bc is twice of ef which means bg will again be twice of g so bg will be twice of g adha thana relation similar triangles la so bg twice of ge na en artham bg is twice of g so in the ge evida idu twice a irukku so which means it divides in the ratio 2 is to 1 ipo idala na edhuk pandren first i need to find the coordinate of d and then i need to find the coordinate of g okay so what is d d is the midpoint of b and c midpoint eppadi kandupidipom d equals midpoint ku ena formula x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 comma z1 plus z2 divided by 2 i'm going to name this as b i'm going to name this as c and i'm going to name this as a okay for simplicity okay x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 z1 plus z2 divided by 2 okay so we have found the coordinates of d ipo inno enna theriyum so i have the line ad so ad is nothing but the points with the coordinates a and the x3 y3 and z3 and what is my d i just found out x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 comma z1 plus z2 divided by 2 these are my coordinates of d and these are my coordinates of a ipo enna theriyum a d oda ratio enna i have the point a i have the point d and the g lies here the ratio is 2 is to 1 so using the section formula enna pannala m is to n is nothing but 2 is to 1 so this will be my x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 so section formula use panna enna varum the coordinates of the centroid which is x y z will be m x2 so it will be 2 times x2 enna x1 plus x2 divided by 2 plus n x1 n x1 na 1 times x1 is x3 divided by m plus n which will be 2 plus 1 so this will be my x coordinate y coordinate eppadi irukum it will be m y2 m y2 na y1 plus y2 divided by 2 plus 1 times y3 divided by 2 plus 1 this will be my y coordinate z coordinate eppadi irukum it will be m z1 plus z2 divided by 2 plus 1 times m oda value enna 2 okay simply substitute the value of 2 One times z3 divided by m plus one, which is two plus one. Okay, you understood what I did here. 
ஃபர்ஸ்ட் மூணு பாயிண்ட் இருக்கு தேர் வேர்டிசஸ் ஆஃப் அ ட்ரையாங்கிள் ஏ பி சி சென்ட்ரோய்டுக்கு என்ன பண்ணோம் யூ யூ ஜாயின் த லைன் இ எஃப் யூ ஹவ் டு ப்ரூவ் த சிமிலாரிட்டி பிட்வீன் A, E, F and A, C, B. இது ரெண்டுக்கும் சிமிலாரிட்டி ப்ரூவ் பண்ணா என்ன கிடைக்கும் பி சி ஈக்வல்ஸ் ட்வைஸ் இ எஃப் கரெக்டா பி சி இஸ் டூ டைம்ஸ் ஆஃப் இ எஃப் எகைன் யூ ஹவ் டு டேக் டூ அதர் ட்ரையாங்கிள்ஸ் விச் இஸ் எஃப் இ ஜி அண்ட் சி பி ஜி பிகாஸ் தி ஆல்டர்னேட் ஆங்கிள்ஸ் ஆர் ஈக்வல் சோ ட்ரையாங்கிள்ஸ் அப்படி எடுக்கணும் சோ யூ ஹாவ் ஆல்ரெடி அ ரிலேஷன் பி சி ஈக்வல்ஸ் ட்வைஸ் இ எஃப் த ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் பிட்வீன் ஏ ஜி அண்ட் ஜி டி இஸ் த சேம் ஆஸ் பி ஜி அண்ட் ஜி இ which is the same as cg and fg correct ah so if bg ku ge ku relation kadachiruchuna you can get the relation between ag and gd so ag and gd ki relation enna it is divided in the ratio 2 is to 1 we prove that with similar triangles you have to remember that the centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 okay median na anartham the line from the midpoint to the opposite side so 2 is to 1 ratio you know you already know the coordinates of a if the coordinates of d and d is the midpoint of bc bc and the this is bc midpoint formula x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 z1 plus z2 by 2 so you know the coordinates of a and d you need to use the section formula section formula and mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n this will be your x coordinate similarly your y coordinate and the z coordinate so on the formula we use panna mx2 what is your value of m2 Two times x2, which is I mark the t coordinates as x2, y2, z2. A coordinates on the x1, y1, z1. So m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n. M y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n. M z2 plus n z1 divided by m plus n. So if you have coordinates, then the two and the two will get cancelled. Two and the two will get cancelled. Two and the two will get cancelled. So my final coordinates will be x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by three. comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 comma z1 plus z2 plus z3 divided by 3 okay so this will be my coordinates of a centroid you understood what i did here clear example 10 i am given two points so let me name it as ab i have the points ab which is divided by the y z plane point on the y z plane abbi irukom 0 y and z on the y z plane i will not have any x coordinate so x coordinate 0 y coordinate is y and z coordinate is z so ipo i have the point a and b this point let me name it as p so i have the point p which divides the line segment in the ratio k is to 1 okay so i need to find out what my ratio is ratio enna kekranga so k is to 1 enna kekranga i know that k equals m divided by n so when you find out k you can find the values of m and n okay so you know the formula 0 y z section formula na it will be m x2 sorry what is my section formula k x2 plus x1 divided by k plus 1 comma k y2 plus y1 divided by k plus 1 k z2 plus z1 divided by k plus 1 if x1 x2 y1 y2 பண்ணலாம் x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 okay substitute பண்ணா k times 6 plus 4 divided by k plus 1 comma k times y2 என்ன 10 plus y1 which is 8 divided by k plus 1 comma k times z2 which is minus 8 plus z1 which is 10 divided by k plus 1 so what do you know i can equate my x coordinates y coordinates and my z coordinates to find the value of k i can simply equate my x coordinates so idu rendu equate panna what will i have 6k plus 4 divided by k plus 1 equals 0 cross multiply panna this becomes a 0 so i have 6k plus 4 equals 0 k equals 4 divided by 6 which is 2 divided by 3 so if k oda value 2 divided by 3 na it is equal to m divided by n so the ratio is 2 is to 3 okay moving on to exercise 12.3 so i have given the question with two coordinates i name them as a and b so i need to find the point which divides ab in the ratio 2 is to 3 internally and externally so formula use panna vendi da first internally can i am going to name the point p as x comma y comma z so i have mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n m y2 plus n y1 
divided by m plus n, m z2 plus n z1 divided by m plus n. So formula la substitute panna, this is my m is to n. So m value in a 2, n value is 3. So I am going to name these points as x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So value substitute panna, I will have 2 x2 plus 3 x1 which is minus 2 divided by m plus n. This will be my x coordinate. Y coordinate in a m y2 which will be 2 times minus 4 plus 3 times 3 divided by 2 plus 3 comma m z2 which will be 2 times 6 plus 3 times z1 in a 5 divided by 2 plus 3. So then I will have 2 minus 3 2 is 6 divided by 5 comma minus 8 plus 9 divided by 5 comma 6 2 is 12 plus 15 divided by 5. So what will be my coordinates? 2 minus 6 is minus 4 divided by 5 comma minus 8 plus 9 is plus 1 divided by 5 comma 12 plus 15 is 27 divided by 5. So these are my coordinates when it is divided internally. Externally na in the formula for externally my formula would be mx2 minus nx1 divided by m minus n. So wherever I have plus it will become a minus. So minus 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 minus. In the formula is for externally. So every formula P of x, y, z coordinates will be mx2 which is 2 into 1 minus nx1. Okay. So in that I am just going to change my signs. Wherever I have a plus I am going to change it as minus. So divided by 2 minus 3. Comma. It will be 2 times minus 4 minus 3 times 3 divided by 2 minus 3. Comma. 2 times 6 minus 3 times 5 divided by 2 minus 3. So then I go 2 minus of minus 6 which is 2 plus 6 divided by minus 1 comma minus 8 minus 9 divided by minus 1 comma 12 minus 15 divided by minus 1. So coordinates then I go 6 plus 2 8 8 divided by minus 1 is minus 8 comma minus 8 minus 9 minus 17 by 1 is plus 17. Comma, 12 minus 15 minus 3 minus 3 by minus 1 is plus 3. Okay. So this will be my coordinates when they are divided externally. Okay. Question number 2. In the question it is given that P, Q, R are collinear. I need to find the ratio. Collinear na You have the points P, Q and R on the same line. And I have to prove that the point Q divides the line segment PR in the ratio K is to 1. Where K equals M divided by N. Correct? So, if in the ratio N and Kandu Purchita, that is what is needed. Okay? So, the points P, Q and R are given. How do I find the ratio? So, first I take the point P and R. So, the coordinate Q which is 5 comma 4 comma minus 6 will be formula na KX2 plus X1 divided by K plus 1 comma ky2 plus y1 divided by k plus 1 comma kz2 plus z1 divided by k plus 1. Then a section formula. So I have to substitute the values of x2, x1, y2, y1 and z2, z1. So this is my x1, y1, z1 and this is my x2, y2, z2. Okay, I am taking the line pr. Q or the coordinates and then kandu I already have the coordinates of Q. I am going to equate the X coordinates, Y coordinates and the Z coordinates to find the value of K. Okay. So substitute for now I will have K times X2 and 9 plus X1 is 3 divided by K plus 1 comma KY2 which will be K times 8 plus Y1 and 2 divided by K plus 1 comma KZ2 which will be K times minus 10 plus z1 which is minus 4 divided by k plus 1. So basically this is equal to 5 comma 4 comma minus 6. Abhi na nartho, x coordinates y and z are equate pan lama. So what will I have? 9k plus 3 divided by k plus 1 equals 5. When I cross multiply 9k plus 3 equals 5k plus 5. When I bring the k to this side 9k minus 5k equals 5 minus 3. So, 4k equals 2, k equals 2 by 4, which is 1 by 2. 
So k would ratio in a, the value of k is 1 divided by 2 which means it is m divided by n. So m is to n is nothing but 1 is to 2. Me the random pananun da the same You will get the same answer even if you equate the y coordinates and the z coordinates. So it is enough if you equate one of the coordinates. Okay. So the k value is half. So m by 2 n i m is to n equals 1 is to 2. That is the ratio. Okay. Third question, I have two points A and B and I have the YZ plane. So, if you have a line, irke, I have the YZ plane dividing them in some ratio. I need to find what the ratio is. YZ plane, la, how will be my coordinates be? I will have the Y coordinate, the Z coordinate, there will be no X coordinate. Correct? Ha? So, if you have coordinate irkum, YZ plane, la. YZ plane, the X coordinate will be 0. The other two coordinates will be Y and Z. Okay. So, this is the point which divides the line segment AB. So, I will have A here, I have B here. So, I will name this point P. So, I have the point P here which divides AB in the ratio K is to 1. Okay. So, I have to equate this point to the point P. Okay. So, what will be point P? 0, Y, Z equals K X2 plus X1 divided by K plus 1, comma K Y2 plus Y1 divided by k plus 1 comma k z2 plus z1 divided by k plus 1 if x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 so when i substitute what will i have k times x2 plus x1 which is minus 2 divided by k plus 1 comma k times y2 which will be k times minus 5 plus y1 which is 4 divided by k plus 1 comma k z 2 so k times 8 plus z 1 7 divided by k plus 1 equals 0 y z so what can i equate to find the value of k 0 x coordinate like in that i have a x coordinate so i can equate the x coordinates so i'll have 3 k minus 2 divided by k plus 1 equals 0 it is easy to solve so when i cross multiply this becomes 0 so, I will have 3k minus 2 equals 0. So, k equals 2 divided by 3 which is m divided by n. So, ratio n m is to n is 2 is to 3. Okay. So, question number 4. I have to show that these points are collinear using section formula. So, I have A and B and let me imagine that I have a point P which divides this in the ratio k is to 1. So, if in the point P equal to C in an approve on it, I can prove that these three points are collinear. Okay. So, this is how you use the section formula. So, I have to find the coordinates of point P. I have to equate it with the point C. Ratio of 1 to it means they are collinear. Okay. So, point P, I take it as x, y and z equals kx2 plus x1 divided by k plus 1 comma ky2 plus y1 divided by k plus 1 comma k z2 plus z1 divided by k plus 1 okay so if a point p and i am going to equate it to the point c which will be 0 1 by 3 and 2 and i am going to substitute the values now so this will be x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 so in the value are k times x2 which is minus 1 plus x1 2 divided by k plus 1 comma k y 2. So, k times 2 plus y 1 which is minus 3 divided by k plus 1 comma k times z 2 which is 1 plus z 1 4 divided by k plus 1. So, if x and the x coordinates then I equate one for it. So, what will I have minus k plus 2 divided by k plus 1 equals 0. So, cross multiply panna I will have minus k plus 2 equals 0, k equals 2. So, I found out the value of k. I am going to substitute k equals 2 in this to see if I get 1 by 3 and in this if I, I am going to get 2, okay. Either k value substitute pannu, 1 by 3 vardhan paakano. Either k value substitute pannu, I have to see if I get 2 when I substitute the value of k equals 2 in this, okay. So, when I have k equals 2 and substitute it here. So, 2k minus 3 divided by k plus 1 la substitute pannu. 2 times 2 minus 3 divided by 2 plus 1. So, which will be 4 minus 3 divided by 3 which is 1 by 3. 
which is equal to the y coordinate of c. So these are my coordinates of c, correct? Huh? Mari, when I substitute the value of k equals 2 in this, so I have k plus 4 divided by k plus 1, which will be 2 plus 4 divided by 2 plus 1. So 6 divided by 3, which is 2, which is equal to the coordinate of c. So I see that the coordinates of p, x, y, z equals to the coordinate of c, which is 0, 1 by 3, comma 2, which means the points a, b, c are collinear. Okay. A, B, C are collinear. So, first step and I am assuming that P is a point which divides the line segment AB in the ratio K is to 1. Abdina Nartho A, P, B are collinear. So, basically I have A, P, B is collinear already. So, when I equate P to C, it means that A, B, C are collinear. Okay. So question line I have the points P and Q. I have to find the points which trisect P and Q. I have the point P and Q. I need to find A and B which trisects P. In the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1. In the ratio la split A and B. Okay. So first I am going to find the point A which means it is divide it divides PQ in the ratio. 1 is to 2. Correct? Huh? So, first I am going to find the coordinates of A. So, coordinates of A which is X, Y and Z. I am going to find out which is in the ratio 1 is to 2. So, formula I substitute panna. I have M X2 plus M X1 divided by M plus N. Comma M Y2 plus N Y1 divided by M plus N. Comma M Z2 plus N Z1 divided by m plus n, where it is divided in the ratio 1 is to 2. So, if point A can be put so this will be my x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. Okay, so when I substitute, I have 1 times 10 plus 2 times x1, which is 4 divided by 1 plus 2, comma, m, y2, it will be 1 times minus 16 plus 2 times y1 which is 2 divided by 1 plus 2 comma mz2 1 times 6 plus 2 times minus 6 divided by 1 plus 2. So, I have 10 plus 8 divided by 3 comma minus 16 plus 4 divided by 3 comma 6 minus 12 divided by 3. So, I have 10 plus 8 18 18 by 3 is 6 comma minus 16 plus 14 which will be minus 12 minus 12 divided by 3 is minus 4 comma 6 minus 12 in a minus 6 minus 6 divided by 3 is minus 2 so these are my coordinates of a so a coordinate in a x y z which is 6 minus 4 minus 2 so we have found out what a is so a is 6 minus 4 minus 2 if a b can you know so when it comes to b it is divided in the ratio it divides the line segment PQ in the ratio 2 is to 1. Correct? Huh? When it comes to B, it divides it in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, for A, it is 1 is to 2. For B, it will be 2 is to 1. Up and wrong value substitute for M X2 plus N X1 divided by M plus n. Okay. In the earth, x2, x1 values mara adhi, m and n values maru. So, 1 is to 2 kubadala, I have 2 is to 1. Kama, 2 times minus 16 plus 1 times 2 divided by 1 plus 2 divided by 2 times 6 plus 1 times minus 6 divided by 1 plus 2. Okay. So, what will I have? 20 plus 4 divided by 3 comma minus 16 twos are 32. Minus 32 plus 2 divided by 3, comma, 12 minus 6 divided by 3. So, in our row, 24 divided by 3, which is 8, comma, minus 32 plus 2, which is minus 30 divided by 3 is minus 10, comma, 12 minus 6 is 6, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay? So, these are my coordinates of B. So, B, X, Y, Z. So, I have also found out the coordinate of B, which is 8 minus 10, 2. Okay? So, you have found out the points which divide the line segment PQ 
in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 basically trisect okay trisect na enna pannom ab rendu point eduthukitom so first a a divides pq in the ratio 1 is to 2 then b b divides the line segment in the ratio 2 is to 1 okay so you have found out both the points so we are going to so learn we... 3d geometry today but we are going to start the miscellaneous examples a lot of people had asked me to solve miscellaneous examples and exercise questions so this is that video please let me know in the comment section below if you want me to solve something else also okay so let's get started with the miscellaneous example questions of 3d geometry okay so first i am given the coordinates a b c d i have to prove that these are the vertices of a parallelogram and not a rectangle okay so what is the difference between a parallelogram and a rectangle so what are the steps so always write your coordinates in the cyclic manner so a b c d don't write a b c and d okay so what are your diagonals a c and b d so these are your diagonals okay you need to prove that the given vertices are a vertices of a parallelogram. Parallelogram na na, the opposite sides are equal and parallel. What is the rectangle? The opposite sides are equal and parallel. So what is the difference? The only difference is that for a parallelogram, the diagonals are not equal. In a rectangle, the diagonals are equal. Okay. So in a parallelogram, the diagonals are not equal. But for a rectangle, but for a rectangle, the diagonals are equal. How can you prove that? So, in that this is a 90 degree. So, you have a right angled triangle. So, using Pythagoras theorem, you can show that AD square plus DC square is AC square. Similarly, BC square plus CD square is AC square. So, you see that AD and BC are equal, DC and DC are the same. So, obviously, you will get the diagonals to be equal. In that you do not have a right angled triangle. So, here you do not have the diagonals to be equal. Even though the opposite sides are equal and parallel, you do not have the diagonals to be equal. So, this is what we are going to prove here. So, we are going to find the distances AC and BD and we are going to show that they are not equal. Not equal, no, okay. But you also have to show that the opposite sides are equal for it to be a parallelogram. Correct? Huh? So, first we will find the distance of AB, BC, CD and DA. We will show that the opposite sides are equal. So, it is either a parallelogram or a rectangle. Rectangle rule out I have to show that the diagonals are not equal. Okay. So let me find the distances. So A B is square root of. So A B. So this is X1, Y1, and Z1. X2, Y2, and Z2. So if, what are my values? What is the formula? Distance formula? Z2 minus Z1 the whole square, which is minus 1, minus 3 the whole square, plus Y2 minus Y1. So minus 2, minus 2 the whole square, plus minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 the whole square so what is this square root of minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 minus 4 the whole square is plus 16 plus minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 minus 4 the whole square is again plus 16 plus minus 2 the whole square is 4 so 16 plus 16 is 32 32 plus 4 is 36 square root of 36 is 6 units so you have found the distance of AB Ipo, AB we will do BC so BC so this is my x2, y2, z2. I'll again mark this as x1, y1 and z1. Now in the render coordinates. So x2 minus x1. Okay. You can either take z2 minus z1 first or x2 minus x1 first. It doesn't matter. It is in the addition form. So sum lay every one are So x2 minus x1 which is minus 1 minus 2 the whole square plus minus 2 minus 3. Y coordinates the whole square plus z minus 1 minus 2 the whole square which is square root of Please watch my previous videos on 3D geometry. Check the playlist for all the other examples and exercise questions from the NCRT textbook. If you doubt, I have also explained it very clearly in those videos. Okay. Ipo, minus 1 minus 2 the whole square is minus 3 the whole square which is plus 9. Plus minus 2 minus 3 the whole square is minus 5 the whole square which is plus 25. Plus minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Minus 3 the whole square is plus 9. Which is 9 plus 9, 18. 18 plus 25 is 43. So this will be square root of 43. Now, BC is done. Let me find the distance of CD. So, CD is square root of. Now, we are dealing with these two. So, this is X1, Y1, Z1. So, this will be X2, Y2 and Z2. So, X2 minus X1. 4 minus 2 the whole square plus Y coordinates. 7 minus 3 the whole square plus 6 minus 2 the whole square. So, this will be 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 square is 4 plus 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 square is 16, plus 6 minus 2, 4, 4 square is 16. You see again we get 32 plus 4, 36, square root of 36 which is 6. So you see AB equals CD, AB equals CD. So these two sides are equal. Next, CD which is the AD. 
So what is AD? Square root of, now you have to look for these two coordinates. So already the x1, y1 and z1 are marked. So x2 minus x1, 4 minus 1, the whole square, y coordinates. 7 minus 2, the whole square, plus z6 minus 3, the whole square. So this will be square root of 4 minus 1, 3, 3 square 9, 7 minus 2, 5, 5 square 25, plus 6 minus 3, 3, 3 square is 9. So you are getting the same value. So it will be square root of 43. So you also see that BC equals AD. So BC equals AD. So we have proved that the opposite sides are equal. See opposite sides are equal. So it is either a parallelogram or a rectangle. Either a parallelogram, parallel GM, parallelogram or a rectangle. In the Mari short formula exam, okay? only in my videos it is applicable. Rectangle. Okay. Now I need to rule out that this is not a rectangle. So what do I have to show? AC equals, AC is not equal to BD in Cardano. So to prove it is not a rectangle, that it is not a rectangle, I have to show that AC is not equal to BD. If AC equal BD equal distance. What is my AC? A and C. Say for distance AC. So this will be 2 minus 1. So distance AC is square root of 2 minus 1 x coordinates the whole square plus y coordinate 3 minus 2 the whole square plus z coordinate 2 minus 3. Okay be very careful on which coordinates you are dealing with don't mix the values. Okay this will be square root of 2 minus 1 1 1 square is 1 plus 3 minus 2 1 1 square is again 1 plus 2 minus 3 is minus 1 1 square is again 1. So this will be root 3 units okay you are dealing with distance so everywhere write units okay now ac what is it? you have to find bd now so what is distance bd square root of look for b and d coordinates so these two so x2 minus x1 which is 4 minus of minus 1 is 4 plus 1 so 4 plus 1 the whole square plus y coordinate 7 minus of minus 2 is 7 plus 2 the whole square 6 minus of minus 1 is 6 plus 1 the whole square. So this will be obviously it's not equal. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 square 25 plus 7 plus 2 9, 9 square 81 plus 6 plus 1 7, 7 square is 49. So what is 25, 81 and 49? 49 plus 81 will be 130, 130 plus 25 is 155. So this will be square root of 155 units. So I see that AC is not equal to BD. The diagonals are not equal. The diagonals are not equal. Hence, it is not a rectangle and so it is a parallelogram. Okay, this is how you have to write your answer. Hence, it is not a rectangle and thus a parallelogram. Okay, exam you have to write it like this. Okay. Example 12, I am given two coordinates A and B. I have to show, I have to find the equation of set of points P. So let me take P to be X, Y and Z. I need to find the equation of the set of points P, which is equidistant from A and B. So what does that mean? PA equals PB. Correct? So what is the distance P? I am given my coordinates of A and B and I am given P. So let me find the distance formula. PA equals PB. Now this will be square root of PA. So let me write the coordinates here. 3, 4, minus 5, minus 2, 1 and 4. So these are my x1, y1, z1, x1, y1, z1. This is my x2, y2, z2. Okay, we equal at the plan. What is my PA? x2 minus x1. So this will be x minus 3, the whole square, plus y coordinates, y minus 4, the whole square, plus z coordinates, z minus of minus 5, z plus 5, the whole square. So this is PA equals PB. What is my PB? x2 minus x1. So it will be square root of x minus of minus 2 which is x plus 2 the whole square plus y coordinate y minus 1 the whole square plus z minus 4 the whole square. So we have found the distance. So let me square it on both sides. I am going to open the brackets also. A, a minus b the whole square, a plus b the whole square. So squaring on both sides, square root point off. Then I have x square plus 9 minus 6x. a minus b the whole square, a square plus b square minus 2ab. Plus, in you a minus b the whole square, a square 
plus b square is 16 minus 8y plus z square plus 25 plus 5 2s are 10. 10z equals RHS in a, I have x square plus 4 plus 4x plus y square plus 1 minus 2y plus z square plus 16 minus 8z. Okay. Enga minus plus in a, please be very very careful. Now what gets cancelled? The x square, y square and z square. x square, y square and z square on both sides will get cancelled. So I will bring all my x terms, y terms and z terms to one side and all the constants to the other side. So what do I have? Minus 6x minus 8y and plus 10z. In the book I have plus 4x. So minus 4x plus 2y. This comes to the left hand side so it becomes a plus. Upper minus 8z. So this becomes plus 8z equals all my constants. So what is in my left hand side? 4, sorry right hand side. 4 plus 1 plus 16. If a right hand side, I have plus 9. So this becomes a minus 9. What else do I have? Plus 16. So it will become minus 16. Plus 25 will become a minus 25. So what all will get cancelled? LHS lab. Minus 6x minus 4x. So this will be minus 10x. Y and R minus 8y plus 2y. So it will be minus 6y. Z 10z plus 8z. So it will be 18z. And what is in my right hand side? 16 minus 16 will get cancelled. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 minus 9 is minus 4. Minus 4 and minus 25 which will be minus 29. Okay. So what, what am I left with? Minus 10x minus 6y plus 18z equals minus 29. So what is my equation when I bring everything to one side? Minus 10x minus 6y plus 18z plus 29 equals 0. When I multiply the whole equation by minus 1, I will have 10x plus 6y minus 18z minus 29 equals 0. Make sure that your x coefficient is always positive. Whatever you have in the first, whatever is your first term, make sure that the coefficient is always positive. Okay? It is just for a neat presentation where the reason is no problem. No problem. Okay? So this is your equation. Moving on to example 13, we have learned about the centroid in example 9. Please check my previous videos for example 9 and see how we have got the coordinates for the centroid. Okay, I will not explain it again I am not going to explain it again here. Please watch my previous video. Example 9, okay. If a centroid order, a coordinates, I am given the coordinates of my centroid. I am given the three vertices of a triangle out of which I only know A and B. So, I need to find my coordinates of C. So, what is it? Centroid, which is 1, 1, 1 is x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3. This is my x coordinate. What is my y coordinate? y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. And my z coordinate is z1 plus z2 plus z3 divided by 3. Okay. I have given the justification and the explanation for this coordinates in example 9. Please watch. So these are my coordinates. If x1, x2, x3 and there, this is my x1, y1, z1. This is x2, y2 and z2. This is x3, y3 and z3. I am going to substitute it in the equation. So what do I have? x1 1 then 3 minus 1 plus x. So it will be 3 minus 1 plus x divided by 3. 3 minus 1 plus x. So x1, x2, x3 divided by 3, comma y. So it will be minus 5 plus 7 plus y. Minus 5 plus 7 plus y divided by 3, comma z. 7 minus 6, z. So 7 minus 6 plus z divided by 3. So I am going to equate this to each and every coordinates that I have here. So what do I have? 3 minus 1, 2. So 2 plus x divided by 3 is 1. This is 1 x coordinate. Y one then minus 5 plus 7. So, this will be 2 plus y divided by 3 equals 1. Again, this will be 7 minus 6 is 1. So, I have 1 plus z divided by 3 equals 1. So, let me find my x, y and z. So, I have 2 plus x equals 3. x equals 1. 2 plus y equals 3. y equals 1. 1 plus z equals 3. z equals 2. So, what are my coordinates of c? c will be 1 comma 1 comma 2. So this is my third vertex, the coordinates of my third vertex of a triangle. Okay, all of that very very easy. So with this we are done with miscellaneous example questions. Next we will move on to exercise questions. Please watch my consecutive videos. Also. Moving on to miscellaneous exercises. So I am given the coordinates of my parallelogram. They are asking me to find the fourth coordinate. I only have three coordinates. So what did we see in example 11? We saw that it is not a rectangle but a parallelogram. So again, we 
proved that the diagonals are not equal in a parallelogram. Even though the diagonals are not equal in a parallelogram, you have to understand that in a parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. So, in that way, one way of approaching this question is you can find all the distances and find out what your fourth coordinate is, but it is going to be a very, very long process. So, what is the shortcut? You know that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisects each other. So, the coordinate P is common for both. So, P is the midpoint of AC and P is also the midpoint of BD, correct? So, let me find my midpoint of AC. So, I have the coordinates of AC, so I will know the coordinates. I equate that to the midpoint of BD, so I can find out my coordinates of B. So, let's do this. So, what is first the midpoint through AC? So, P is the midpoint of AC. So, what are my coordinates of P? P will be midpoint formula in X1 plus X2 divided by 2, Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2, Z1 plus Z2 divided by 2. Correct? Okay. So, what is my X1, Y1, Z1? We are dealing with A and C. So, this will be my X1, Y1, Z1, X2, Y2, Z2. So, X1 plus X2 divided by 2 will be 3 minus 1 divided by 2. So, 3 minus 1 divided by 2, comma, minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 comma z coordinates to so 2 plus 2 divided by 2. So, what will I be left with? 1, 2 by 2 which is 1, comma, minus 1 plus 1 will be a 0, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 1. So, these are my coordinates of P, okay. If similarly BD, P is also the midpoint of BD, of BD, we have found out what our P is. So, the coordinates of P which is 1, comma, 0, comma, 2, will be the midpoint of BC. Sorry, we are dealing with the diagonal BD, okay? So, this is the diagonal BD. So, what is my midpoint of BD? So, it will be 1 plus x divided by 2, x coordinate, y coordinate 2 plus y divided by 2 and z coordinate is minus 4 plus z divided by 2. Don't get confused between z and 2, okay? Maybe write your 2 like this. If I am going to equate my x coordinates, y coordinates and z coordinates to find my x, y and z, very, very easy, okay? So, in that we'll have 1 plus x divided by 2 equals 1 x coordinate, 2 plus y divided by 2 equals 0 y coordinate, minus 4 plus z divided by 2 equals 2 z coordinate. So, what are my x, y and z? So, it will be 2, so x is equal to 1. In that we'll have 2 plus y equals 0, so y equals minus 2. Here, minus 4 plus z equals 2, 2s are 4, z equals 8. So, what is my fourth coordinate? D or the coordinates on the 1, minus 2 and 8. 1, minus 2 and 8. So, we have found our fourth coordinate of the parallelogram. Okay, this is a very, very easy way of doing this. We just know that the diagonals bisect each other. So, very common point. So, we can find the fourth coordinate. Okay. Moving on to question number 2. We are given the coordinates of a triangle A, B, C. I need to find the lengths of my median. What is a median? Median is the line drawn from one vertex to the opposite side which divides the side into two equal halves. Perpendicular kadayadu. Altitude is the line which is perpendicular. Median only bisects the side into two equal halves. So, D is the midpoint of BC, E is the midpoint of AC and F is the midpoint of AB. Okay, you need to find the distances AD. B, E and C, F. A, D, B, E, C, F, N and Therino. For that, I need to find my coordinates of D, E and F first, which are the midpoints of B, C, A, C and A, B respectively. So, first D and N can be comma. The coordinates of D is, D is the midpoint of B and C. So, the midpoint formula is X1 plus X2 divided by 2, Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2, Z1 plus Z2 divided by 2. Please watch my previous videos on the exercise and example questions from the NCRT textbook. You will understand this better, okay? If I am moving too fast, you will understand if, I, if you have watched my previous videos. If D would coordinate, midpoint of BC, which is X1 plus X2 divided by 2, which is 0 plus 6 divided by 2, comma, Y coordinate. So, 4 plus 0 divided by 2, comma, Z coordinate, which is 0 plus 0 divided by 2. Very, very simple. So, then there is 6 by 2, 3, 4 by 2 is 2, 0 by 2 is 0. So, I found the coordinates of T. Now, I need my coordinate of E. E would coordinate and E is the midpoint of AC. So, these two. 0 plus 6 divided by 2. 0 plus 0 divided by 2. 6 plus 0 divided by 2. So, what are the coordinates? 6 by 2, 3. 0. 6 by 2 is again 3. So, 3, 0, 3. E can put What are my coordinates of F? F is the midpoint of AB. So, these two. 
So it will be 0 plus 0 divided by 2, 0 plus 4 divided by 2, 6 plus 0 divided by 2. So what will this be? 0 by 2 is 0, comma 4 by 2 is 2, 6 by 2 is again 3. Now I found my coordinates of D, E, F. I need to find the distance A, D, B, E and C, F. So if a distance A, D and A, D is the square root of distance of this which is x2 minus x1 the whole square. So this is D, correct? This is D, E and F. So x2 minus x1 which will be 3 minus 0 the whole square plus 2 minus 0 the whole square plus 0 minus 6 the whole square. Let me write the values first then I'll calculate. So what is my distance B, E? I need to look for the coordinates of B and E. So it will be these two. So it will be 3 minus 0 the whole square plus 0 minus 4 the whole square plus 3 minus 0 the whole square. Okay. And what will be my ADB and CF? CF will be square root of C and F. 0 minus 6 the whole square plus 2 minus 0 the whole square plus 3 minus 0 the whole square. So what will be my values? 3 minus 0 the whole square is 3 square. 9 plus 2 square 4 plus 6 square 36. Similarly, B E K 3 square is 9 plus 4 square 16 plus 3 square is again 9 and this will be square root of 6 square is 36 plus 2 square is 4 plus 3 square is again 9. So, what will be my values? 36 plus 4 is 40, 40 plus 9 49. Square root of 49 is 7 units. So, this is my length of one of the medians. And for this, it will be 9 plus 9, 18, 18 plus 16, 34. So, square root of 34 units. You cannot further simplify this. And this will be 36 plus 4, 40, 49 again. So, 49, which is 7 units. So, I found the lengths of the medians, okay? Question number 3. It is given that the centroid of a triangle is the origin. Origin na and we are dealing with 3D. So, the origin will be 0, 0, 0. You need to know how to interpret this, okay? So, the interpret panna terjara, centroid is equal to origin, you will write it like this and you are given the vertices of a triangle, P, Q, R, okay? You need to find what your values of A, B and C are. So, what is the, what are the coordinates of a centroid? So, it will be 0, 0, 0 will be x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3. We did this in the previous exercise and example questions, okay? This will be y1, y2, y3 divided by 3, comma z1, Z2, Z3 divided by 3. Remember it is divided by 3, okay? Midpoint is divided by 2. For the centroid, it will be divided by 3. So, what are those? So, I will mark this as X1, Y1, Z1, X2, Y2, Z2, X3, Y3 and Z3. Let me add them. 2A minus 4, 8. So, 2A minus 4 plus 8 divided by 3, comma, Y coordinates. 2 plus 3B plus 14. 2 plus 3b plus 14 divided by 3. Z coordinates 6 minus 10, 2c. 6 minus 10 plus 2c divided by 3. You need to find out what your values of a, b and c are. Okay. So, this will be 0, 0, 0. So, now let me equate my x coordinates, y coordinates and z coordinates. For now, I go minus 4 plus 8 is plus 4. So, this will be 2a plus 4 divided by 3 equals 0 x coordinates. Equating y coordinates, I'll have 14 plus 2 is 16. So, 16 plus 3b divided by 3 equals 0. And for this, minus 4 plus 2c divided by 3 equals 0. Okay. Pay the panna. 2a plus 4 equals 0. 2a equals minus 4. a equals minus 2. And for this, 16 plus 3b equals 0. 3b equals minus 16. b equals minus 16 divided by 3. And what is this? Minus 4 plus 2c equals 0. 2c equals 4, c equals 2. So, these are my values of a, b and c. Okay. Question number 4. The question is, the point on the y-axis. You need to find a point on the y-axis, which is at a distance of 5 root 2 units from the point P, which is given to be 3, minus 2 and minus 5. So, you need to find out what your Q is. So, what is the point on a y-axis? How do you represent that? For a y-axis, if 2D coordinates at the Nigna. This is your x axis. So, what is the point on the x axis? You will have some x value and your y will be 0. What is the point on your y axis? 
you will have no x coordinate and you will have some value for y. So, similarly when you are dealing with 3D, you will have no x and no z, you will only have y, okay. So, for a point on the y axis, you need to know how to write your coordinates. What is the point on an x z plane? x z plane now, you will have x, you will have z, you do not have any y, okay. Please understand the difference. This is x z plane and this is on the y axis, okay. Now, let us find out the coordinates. So, P is 3, minus 2 and 5. Q we just found out 0, Y and 0. So, these are my X1, Y1, Z1, X2, Y2, Z2. I am given the distance. So, I need to find the distance with which I can find my Y coordinate. So, I am the distance formula. Distance PQ equals X2 minus X1 the whole square which is 0 minus 3 the whole square plus Y plus 2 the whole square plus 0 minus 5 the whole square okay so what is this 5 root 2 equals square root of i'll square it on both sides so i'll have 5 root 2 the whole square equals here the square root goes off so i'll have minus 3 the whole square which is 9 plus y a plus b the whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2 ab which is 4y plus minus 5 the whole square which is 25 if we're squaring on both sides for now the square root went off and we have a whole square here. So, 5 root 2 whole square and it is 5 square times root 2 the whole square. 5 square is 25 times root 2 the whole square is 2. So, 25 into 2 is 50. So, LH will be a 50. 50 equals y square plus 4y and what are my constants? 25 plus 4 is 29. 29 plus 9 is 38. So, 38. If I in the 50 and the book under lama, so what will I have? y square plus 4y plus 38 minus 50 equals 0. What is 38 minus 50? It is 12. So, I have y square plus 4y minus 12 equals 0. So, I need my product to be minus 12 and I need my sum to be plus 4. So, what can I do? 6 twos are 12 plus 4 we know. So, 6 minus 2. So, what will be the splitting the middle term? y square plus 6y minus 2y minus 12 equals 0. So, y common at the y plus 6 I need a y plus 6 here. So, I will take minus 2 outside. Okay. So, this will be y plus 6 times y minus 2. I change the marker. y plus 6 times y minus 2 equals 0. So, what are my values for y? y equals minus 6 and y equals plus 2. So, when my value of y is a minus 6, my coordinates of q will be 0, minus 6 and 0. And when my value of y is 2, my coordinate of q will be 0, 2, 0. So, you have two values for Q. Okay. So, we are given the coordinates of P and Q. I need to find my coordinates of R for which the X coordinate is given. So, X coordinate 4 in Putrika. I do not know what my Y and the Z coordinates are. I need to find the coordinate of R which lies on the line segment P and Q. So, basically it is dividing the PQ in some ratio which is K is to 1. First, we need to find what our K is. Then we will find the coordinates of R. Okay. So if a P and Q how do you find my how do you find the coordinates of R? So R or the coordinate, which is 4, comma, Y, comma, Z will be K X2 plus X1 divided by K plus 1. This is my section formula. Do you remember? Comma, Y coordinate, K Y2 plus Y1 divided by K plus 1. You can also use MX2 plus MX1 divided by M plus N. Random da, but it will be difficult to find two different values. Here you only need to find your K. And you already know the other value, which is 1. Here k is m divided by n. Okay, you guys have to remember this. Please watch my previous videos if you don't remember. Okay. Then what is my z coordinate? k z2 plus z1 divided by k plus 1. So let me mark this as x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So in our this will be k x2, 8 plus x1, which is 2 divided by k plus 1, y2. K Y2 is 0 plus Y1 which is minus 3 put a bracket divided by K plus 1 and Z2 and 9 10. So, it will be K times 10 plus Z1 which is 4 divided by K plus 1. So, this is 4 comma Y comma Z. You already know what your X coordinate is. So, either end of the equate pana you can get the value of K. Correct? Ha? So, I am going to equate these two. So, what do I have? 8K plus 2 divided by sorry K plus 1 equals Four. So, I am equating my x coordinates because I already know my value of x coordinate on the LHS, correct? Ha? So, if I equate panna, 8k plus 2 equals 4k 
plus 4. So when I bring the k to one side and the constants to other side, I'll have 8k minus 4k which is 4k equals 4 minus 2 which is 2. So k value will be 2 by 4. So k equals 2 by 4 which is 1 by 2. I found out what my k value is. I can simply substitute it here to find the value of y. Correct? So what is my y? y equals minus 3 divided by k plus 1. When I equate the coordinates, I have y equals minus 3 divided by k plus 1 and z equals 10k plus 4 divided by k plus 1. Substituting the value of k, half substitute panna na go, minus 3 divided by half plus 1, which will be minus 3 divided by LCM edutha, it will be 1 plus 2 divided by 2. So, 1 plus 2 divided by 2, so this will be minus 3 divided by 3 by 2, which will be into 2 by 3. Correct? So, I, I can cancel the 3 and the 3, so I will have minus 2. You understood what I did here? So, I have minus 3 divided by 3 divided by 2. So, in the divided by, every other law, minus 3 divided by 3 divided by 2. So, when I take the reciprocal, I will have minus 3 times 2 by 3. The division becomes a multiplication and the number becomes the reciprocal. So, when I cancel this, I will have minus 2. Punjada, well, now my z coordinate. What, do you, what is my z coordinate? k equals half quota. I will have 10 into 1 by 2 plus 4 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1. So, this gets cancelled. 5. What is my numerator? 5 plus 4, 9 divided by, again, 3 divided by 2. So, this will be 9 divided by 3 by 2. When I do the reciprocal, I will have 9 times 2 divided by 3. So, the 3 and the 9 gets cancelled. So, I will be left with 6. So, what are my coordinates of R? R will be x, y, z, which is x I already know, 4. Y when the minus 2 and z is 6. Okay, very, very simple. You are simply using your section formula. Last and the final question of the exercise. So, I have the coordinates of A and B. I need to find the set of equations of P for which it satisfies this equation where K is a constant. Okay, so for P A square and a, P is a point somewhere here. And A and B are the points somewhere here. Okay. So, if you So, I have P A is my distance from P to A. What is square? This is my distance square. And this is also my distance square which is P B square. Okay. What is my distance P A? P A is square root of. Let me take the coordinates of P to be X, Y and Z. So, X2 minus X1. So, this will be X minus 3 the whole square plus Y minus 4 the whole square plus Z minus 5 the whole square. So, this is P A. So, what is my P A square? P A square will be, I can remove the square root. Correct? Huh? Simple. As simple as that. So, P A square is I can remove the square root. Similarly, what is my P B square? It will be X minus of minus 1 which is X plus 1 the whole square plus Y ka, Y minus 3 the whole square plus for Z, Z plus 7 the whole square. Okay? In a panel purida, distance P A is square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square plus z2 minus z1 the whole square. This is my actual distance formula. When I square on both sides, I have pa square equals the square root goes of x2 minus x1 the whole square. Okay, so this is my x1, y1 and z1 and these are my x2, y2 and z2 for both a and b. Okay, x2, y2, z2, x2, y2 and z2. Okay, now I have found out PA square and PB square. Let me substitute it in the equation. So, what do I have? PA square is I am going to open the brackets. A minus B the whole square which is X square plus 9 minus 6X. A minus B the whole square which is there. Plus Y minus 4 the whole square which is Y square plus 16 minus 8Y. Plus Z minus 5 the whole square is Z square plus 25 minus 10 Z. This is 25. Okay, don't get confused between Z and the 2. Minus 10 Z. Plus, if a PB square, which will be X square plus 1 minus 2X plus Y minus 3, the whole square is Y square plus 9 minus 6Y plus Z plus 7, the whole square, which will be Z square plus 49 plus 14Z equals K square. If X square, Y square, Z square terms will add parla, X, Y, Z terms will add parla, So, what do I have? 2X square plus y square ke 2 y square plus z square ke 2 z square plus x coordinate y coordinate z coordinate. So, I have minus 6x 
minus 2x. It will be minus 8x. Y ke minus 8y minus 6y. It will be minus 14y. Z ke minus 10z plus 14z. So it will be plus 4z. And what are the constants? 9 plus 16 plus 25. 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 plus 25 is 50. So plus 50. Here 1 plus 9 plus 49. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 49 is 59. So plus 59 minus k square. I am bringing the k square to my left hand side. Minus k square equals 0. So what am I left with? 2x square plus 2y square plus 2z square minus 8x minus 14y plus 4z. 59 plus 59 is plus 109 minus k square equals 0. So this is my equation. It is very very easy. It is pretty straightforward. Miscellaneous mari illa roko easy arvidhu. Please solve a lot of questions. Don't make mistakes with the coordinates. Do not change your x, y and z coordinates. First learn how to interpret the question. Question kudutri kathe ennan theri ilna roko roko kashto. Okay. Please be very careful on all the best way exams. So with this we are done with 3D geometry. I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe pannega, please. Thank you and always for your exams.